Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Today, we're going to show you how to disassemble a Husqvarna automower charging station. This is a charging station for a 300 series automower. It's going to be very similar as far as the process to disassemble it as it would be on a uh, 400 or 500 series automower or even an all-wheel drive automower. The one that's really different is the 115H, but that's really just a three-piece unit and uh, really simple to figure out. But there's a lot of stuff that people don't understand with these charging stations and a lot of stuff that they miss and they don't know how to get apart or piece back together. So we're going to show you that right now. We're going to show you uh, first how to take off this top part here to get into the charging station board. We already have a video out showing you that, but we're going to go over it again, just kind of refresh it for you. So to take this part off up here, this is the part that, that flips down. You want to take out the screw right here and the screw right here. T20 Torx bit is all you need to do that. And you just remove those screws. Down here. So now with your screws out, you can hit the button in the back there to pop it up. It lifts straight up on it, comes out of those slots there, and you have your plug right here to unplug this portion of the charging station. And you can see that there's quite a few parts in here that can still come apart on this piece of the charging station. Now, one big important part is right here your uh, contacts for the the charging station to um to, to be able to charge your mower up when it pulls in there and you got springs here you got a bunch of parts that could end up coming out or getting worn out you know these have to work just right to push against there to make contact they can't be corroded up or anything like that so it's always good to be able to take this apart clean up all this stuff just check it you know make sure everything's working proper properly and um, we've seen some of them where the nuts on here, on these wire ends, will actually come loose. And it's not making good contact. The mower will come in, it pushes against this, and you think it should be charging, and it's not. So you can see that, you know, all this stuff can come apart here very easily. These parts are all replaceable. And uh, even back here, you got a spring for your button. This is another part that we see missing pretty often. That'll pop, that'll pop out of there somehow. Um, very easy to pop that back in if you can find it. If not, we have them available, www.roboticmowerservices.com. And this part right here, you can see it comes apart. There's two screws in here, so you can take this top cover here off. And uh, you can really break this thing down pretty far because if you have some damage that occurs to the charging station, you know, say a tree limb falls on or something, uh, it's it's easy to replace the components of it rather than replace the entire thing. So usually not a whole lot goes bad with uh, with this part here. So we're not going to take it the whole way apart. Uh, really the big thing is just the uh, the spring, like I said here, for the button to to release that part that flips up. And you know you have some issues every now and then with your contact points right here to charge the mower. And as you can see. Easy to get into there if you have to fix anything. So moving on, we got the circuit board here for the charging station. And if you didn't see our other video of how to replace that, fairly straightforward process. You're going to unplug all the wires from it, which is really easy to do. And then on... All the automowers, the 300 series, the 400 series, 500 series, there's not actually any screws holding those circuit boards in. Uh, the one on the 400 and 500 series will mount in there a little bit differently, but it's still going to be the same concept. You're going to have tabs where you can just squeeze them away from the board, and then you'll be able to pop the board right out of there very easily. So that's it. That's all we had to do, and our circuit board is out. That's it right there.
All right, now all this stuff in the the tower piece. And this is one where people will say, you know, they got some weird, goofy uh, problem going on, and they've replaced the, the power supply, they've replaced the circuit board, they replaced the low-voltage cable, and, you know, still having the same issue. Well, it's possible for something to get in here and chew on these wires and cause an issue with them. We've also had issues with um, insects, you know, causing damage in there. Slugs will get in there, and they'll slime everything up, and then that'll cause... Uh, That'll cause some stuff to short circuit, depending on where they're leaving their trail behind them. So we'll show you how to remove this part here from the from the base first, and then we'll get into all of this stuff in here. Now, on the bottom of the base, you have four screws that hold your your tower in. On this one, we only have three because one is missing. So you're just going to take those screws out of there. And then the whole tower section can come right off of this plate. Again, just a T20 uh, Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screws here. Nothing fancy, nothing real elaborate. You don't need any kind of power tools to do this. And we... Do not recommend using any power tools on this because it's a, it's a metal screw going into plastic and you can easily strip that plastic out with the screw coming out or driving it in. And we'd be taking out another screw right there, but as I said, that one's missing. So our tower is now free. On uh, the 400 series mowers, the, the grommet is actually up in this part right here uh on the on the mower and it can you know have a little bit of drag and resistance on there but here's this piece and what these wires are they're still in the plate that is the white wire you see down here and this is your antenna wire this is where you get your uh your signals from the charging station to be able to line the mower up you know the the correct way for it to pull in there and be able to dock properly to be able to charge and this is why you never want to be kneeling or standing or walking over top of your charging station plate because you could flex this and you could pull these wires, you could pop them out of the clips so everything's not given the signal properly. You could actually break the wires. Um, these are the wires here that when you have uh, a certain um, type of light or certain type of LED in your charging station, then there's a problem with either the board or these these wires down here with the antenna. I believe off the top of my head it's flashing red is for the antenna. I think solid red is for the the circuit board. Um, I'll have to double check that one. It's not one we see very often, but we ran into it a couple times. But at any rate, you know, the uh, the red light in the charging station is something bad. And um, there's, there's really two things that go wrong there. The antenna wire here in the base and uh, the, the circuit board in the charging station. Um, so, again... You don't want to mess with this too much. Don't think that there's nothing important in this bottom plate here because obviously, as you see, there is. And if you have a 400 or 500 series mower, you can see on this one here, everything's all exposed on the 300 series charging plate. On the one on the 400 and 500 series, they have that all covered up. And you would have to take these push nuts off of there, these retainers. To pop this open to get to that antenna wire in here on this one so again you don't want to be you don't want to be kneeling on here you don't want to be walking on here you don't want to be flexing this and all that because you can easily pop those wires out or break them and that's going to cause issues with your mower being able to dock properly and charge and as i said you can see on the, the 300 series plate the grommet is right here on the charging station plate on the 400 and 500 series the grommet is on up the wire and goes into the bottom of the base of the tower and the wires are here and they're color coded so you know what's what all right so moving on here now we have our tower piece and this has the wiring harness in it right here this has your uh your, your boundary wire guide wire boundary wire and what a lot of people don't realize is 
this plate right here with these tabs can be replaced. This pops right out of here. And uh, this isn't really hard to do. I'm going to have to grab another screwdriver and then we'll, uh, we'll get back to this. Okay, so we got our tower here. And like I said, I was going to show you how you can get this plate out right here uh, with the, the uh, connections for your, your, your boundary wires and your guide wires. And if it had more guide wires, like a 400 series mower. Um, same process to get this out, 400 series or 500 series as it is with this 300 series charging station tower. It's going to go a lot easier if you can get this plug out of the way. So what you're going to do is just pry down on this right here a little bit this um this dark piece right here underneath the plug you should have a thinner screwdriver than what i've got but we're just gonna gently do this so we don't break it and then push forward see it's just got a ramp on it right there and and that's what locks that in place so with that out of the way now we have room to to pop this plate up here this whole panel and now to do that in the front you have these little legs right here and they're what's holding that in place. They're pushing against these tabs. So we're just going to pry out on that a little bit while we push up on it. So we get it past the, we get it up past the leg right there. See that? And then we're going to do it on the other side as well. Stick our screwdriver in there. Just pry gently so you don't snap them off. And that's it. We have just popped this plate up out of here. And now we can unconnect or disconnect those wires right there. These clips right here for boundary and guides. And there we go. We have that piece there. And you're thinking, oh, wow, that's cool you can take out. But what you might not realize is this, too, is two different pieces. And you can see down here it has the spots where you can unlock, unlatch the, uh, the tabs to release these two pieces. You can see the, the gap right there. So again, all this stuff is replaceable. And the important part that I wanted to uh, share with you here is if you have a problem with the tower uh, for, your, for your charging station and you order in a new one, this is what you're going to get. It's going to come with the wires. And like I said, they're not even going to be together. It's going to be separate. You're going to have to push the wires into this white plug. But that's it. You're not going to get this on the back. That's a whole separate piece right there. These little tabs, the connectors, they're separate. This top piece is separate, and this bottom piece of this is separate. So keep that in mind when you go to try to make repairs to your charging station and know what you're getting. Once this plugs in there, once you have it wired up, the only way you're getting this stuff back out is you would have to cut these wires and then solder them back together to be able to use them again. So these are all our main components here for our charging station. And uh, we'll go over these just once again real quick. You have the base plate with the antenna wire in it. And um, again, you have the same thing, whether it's a 300 series, 400 or 500 series, has that antenna wire in there. It's just got another plate on it to protect it even more on the 400 and 500 series. But that's why you don't want to be flexing this thing real hard and kneeling on it and stepping on it and walking on it. You know, on one of these where that wire is exposed underneath there, if you have rocks underneath here and you're walking on this and you're flexing it real hard, you could have rocks poking up through there and cutting that antenna wire. Uh, tons of stuff that could be going on there. So after that, of course, we have the uh, charging station board, which is the main part that everybody knows and wants to jump right to that, you know, this has got to be the problem. Let's replace that charging station board. As you're seeing, there's more to it than that. But, um, you know, the, the charging station board has your LED on it. So if there's a problem with the actual LED itself, charging station board has that on it. Remember that. It's not in this housing. This is just like a little lens here to magnify it, make it a little bit brighter, easier to see. And this is the cover for your, your tower. It has your charging station plates in there that make contact with the, uh, the front of the mower to charge it up. You can see it's all basic. Here, you know, we have the, the button back here, as I mentioned. Sometimes the spring comes out of that, and then this, this top is all floppy and doesn't actually latch. Um, you can take this, this top part here off. If you take these couple screws out, we didn't bother to do that because it's just all cosmetic stuff. The, uh, the springs and uh, electrical components are the main pieces here we wanted to focus on. So, tower cover, 
the harness, this harness piece, when you order a new tower, will come with the tower assembly. You can buy this harness piece separate, but it will come with this assembly. So, when you order a new tower for a 430X, it's going to be the same tower, as I said, as for a 450X. They use the same wiring harness in those two mowers. You just have one guide wire that's hanging loose in there that doesn't get hooked up because you don't have the extra pin in this piece right here. And you're thinking, oh, well, all I've got to do is swap that part around so I have the extra pin and I'll have three guide wires on my 430X or my 430XH. doesn't work that way. Software in the mower won't allow it to recognize the uh, extra guide wire. Same way where if you try to put that harness from a, a 400 series mower into this tower for the 300 series mower and pop a bunch of extra pins in here, software in a mower is not going to recognize any more than just the one guide wire. So when it comes to the tower, that's why you will have that extra wire in there and now you know what to do with it. Again, you can order the wire separate, but when you order the tower, as of right now, it comes with the wires. You're going to have to push the uh, black and red plugs into the, the the black and the red wire ends, I should say, into the plug. You want to make sure you get them in the right spot. And then you'll clip that in there and hook everything up and you're good to go. Uh, the towers are different between low cut models and high cut models. That is where you get your extra height at. That's a question people have been asking for a long time. Well, what do you do about the charging station if you convert a low cut to a high cut? Charging station tower. It's not cheap, but that is the correct way to do it. As you're seeing, um, you have wires coming up from the plate. You have open areas here. If you're putting a piece of plywood under there to space it up, what does plywood do when it gets wet? It absorbs moisture. So you're going to have all that moisture going up in there to your exposed circuit board. How good is that going to be for your circuit board? That is why you do not use farm material like that to convert your mower to a high cut just wanted to add that little extra note there um then we have this plate here as i said comes in a top layer and you have the bottom layer and you have your your uh, spade connectors all separate if you go to order that it does not come as this assembly this part does not come already assembled in the back of the tower if you order a tower completely separate so I think that is uh, the majority of the information that you would need to know about a charging station. I hope this helps a lot of you guys out because when you have questions about why your auto mower isn't parking right or you're having um, no loop issues and you're, you're saying, you know, it's doing this and doing that and you replaced the board already and you replaced the, replaced the power supply and you can't figure out what's doing it or the mower is pulling in, but it's not charging. You don't know why, you know, now you see there's a lot of these components in here that when you're just standing over top of the charging station looking at it, you don't know they're there. And um, again, we've had some where these wires here, for whatever reason, have come loose. And that's all it took to get the mower charging again. We've had these wires inside here get shorted out from insects and rodents and whatever else getting in there. We've had these tabs here corrode or rust on some uh, charging stations that were left out in the weather when they shouldn't have been. And the circuit boards, we've had ants, we've had slugs, we've had other stuff crawl across them and just destroy them. Charging station bases, as I've said several times now, we've had people walk on them, run over them with a piece of equipment, uh, all kinds of other stuff to screw up the antenna underneath them and uh, cause damage to that. And because nobody thinks about that wire under there, you know, they were jumping to this has to be the problem. Um, if you have any questions about charging stations or any component for charging stations, or you need parts for your charging station for your auto mower, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Go there. If we don't have the parts listed, we probably have them in inventory or we have them on the way. Just shoot us an email. Let us know what model you got. Uh, let us know the serial number so we can get you the right parts and we'll get you hooked up. I say serial number because... There are some differences on some of these charging stations, especially if you're familiar with the 400 and 500 series mowers. You may have a park button on the top there. Some people just have to have that park button. Um, you know, if you don't have the right information, we can't get you the right thing. 
And also, if you have a high cut model or a, a low cut model, it's going to make a difference in which tower you would get for your charging station. There's also um, there's also a difference between the circuit board for a 300 series and a 400 series auto mower. So just things like that that we need to know. Again, like I said, this piece here. You know, you don't have the extra spot for guide wire between a 430 and a 450. Uh, and obviously on the 300 series, you're only going to have one for all the models. But that's why we need that information. We need to know what model you specifically have. Serial number, all that stuff helps us get you the right parts and get you back up and, mill back up and milling uh, a lot faster. So that's going to do it for this video here. Check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Check out um, our Facebook page. Make sure to like it. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram. We post stuff on there. Not as often as on the website and on the Facebook page or on YouTube. But we do have one for all you Instagrammers out there. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can keep up with all the videos that we're putting out with all the information about this stuff to help you uh, handle your own repairs on your auto mower because uh we know that there's a lot of you guys out there that like to take care of this stuff yourself because your dealers are so far and uh, few and far between and um it, it's not always convenient to be able to go to a dealer to get the parts you need or get the repair stuff you need or the the service you need so we're here for you just uh give us a shout uh check out our website get all the contact information on there and you can always shoot us an email, like I said, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. And uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.